Hey there, here we are again, footy fans having some footy fun with Footy Finn. And um, look, due to the stunning success of my uh, Bledisloe Cup uh, video that I posted on Friday night, um, it's received a massive number of views in Footy Finn terms. Not only has it passed the 50, but uh, last time I checked, it's trending up around 87, which is just unprecedented demand for Footy Finn. Um, so listen, I'm going to strike while the iron's hot and post another video on that topic, the Bledisloe Cup. And look, game one from the MCG, as expected, was a bit of a disaster uh, for Australia, really. Um, I think the final score was 38-7 from memory. The thing is, I didn't even watch the game, all right? And for me, that's a big thing. I chose to go and sit by a fire with some mates instead <laughs> and monitor the score online. Um, and look, I'm the living, breathing embodiment of the swinging rugby codes voter in Australia. Um, was once a passionate supporter of the Wallabies and uh, Rugby Union, but now um, far more interested in, uh, in the NRL. Um, and um, look, it's a sad state of affairs, but it's symbolic of where Rugby Australia is at at the moment. Um, it is dying here. It's a, it's a niche, a minor sport, and that has not improved in the last 30 or more years. Just having a cup of tea there. Um, so yeah, look, it's crap. It's crap. Um, so just want to run over a couple of things. Uh, the Wallabies scored early on. I think it was the first uh, 10 minutes. Um, and that's it. Didn't score again in the match. Um, they were outclassed. Um, certainly, that's no surprise. Um, but, um, you know, so... Our Kiwi cousins across the Dutch, the uh, All Blacks supporters are um, riding high on a wavy euphoria at the moment. Um, they think they've got the world at their feet. Uh, of course, they've won three games. Uh, they beat Argentina. Uh, they beat Australia. Um, not that much to brag about. What I think has got them most excited is they beat South Africa. Although that was on home soil in New Zealand, the South African squad was a bit fractured because they sent some kind of advance party over, half the squad over earlier or something. Um, Eben Etzbeth, who I think is their captain, he lost his father, um, sadly, in the days leading up to the game. So look, I don't think it's, um, you know, um, if, if the two teams face each other at the World Cup, and I don't know how the draw shapes up in that respect. I wouldn't be quite that confident um, necessarily on the basis of the last three games. Um, so yeah, look, sorry uh, Kiwi Cousins, I am going to do bring you back a bit down closer to reality, I think, here. Um, and look, um, you know, no, nowhere near as low as where Australian rugby is currently sitting. Um, you know, um, Eddie Jones, you know, snake oil salesman talks up a big press conference, but I don't think he's going to be the um, the Wallabies coach come the 2027 World Cup. Will he even be there in 2025 for the British and Irish Lions Tour? Who knows? Um, anyway, the thing I would say about uh, New Zealand is they only scored two tries when it was 15 v 15. Um, they got the early try where Barrett um, um, knocked down young t little Tate McDermott um, in the Wallabies in goal and Frizzell pounced on the loose ball. Um, and then they didn't score again till the shadows of half time, um, as the All Blacks tend to do over the years. Uh, Will Jordan scored, but they're the only two tries they scored against 15 men. Um, so look, I wouldn't get too excited, um, New Zealanders at the moment, to be fair. Um, yeah, so they didn't, they didn't score at all in the second half when it was 15 v 15. But look, speaking of having men sent off, and I've got a yellow microphone here, um, and that is telling the Wallabies again, just disastrous discipline, shocking. And this has been going on for years now. 
Um, they still had uh, at least two yellow cards. They should actually change the colour of their jerseys to more the yellow card um, type colour. I think that would be very fitting. Um, so shocking there. Um, haven't improved over last year. Uh, but, um, yeah, look, from all accounts, uh, New Zealand did not score until uh, the Wallabies, I think it was Tupo, who was already injured and should have been taken off the field, um, was yellow carded in the second half. And um, they scored th three quick tries when the game was already over. So, look, uh, don't get too excited, New Zealanders. You were up against the Wobblies too, so they lost two tight heads. They had a rookie 5'8", uh, Carter Gordon, who from all accounts had a bit of a forgettable night, a poor night with the boot. Um, you know, new combinations, players playing out of position, both their co-captains um, injured. So, look, just <laughs> keep your powder dry, boys and girls. and non-binaries over in New Zealand. Don't get too excited, but congrats on winning. Uh, game two is this Saturday in Dunedin. Um, and interesting, because it was always a fortress and the Wallabies had never won there until 2001 when they were in their golden period. That was the tail end of the uh, sort of John Eels captain, Rod McQueen coach era. Um, I don't think they'll be winning again this week. Uh, the All Blacks might mix up their selections a bit, who knows what the hell Eddie will do. Um, but um, look, I'm sure the All Blacks will win that one as well. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Love your work. A um, few more videos in the lead up to the Rugby World Cup and throughout that tournament. But for now, take care and uh, see you out uh, by the corner posts. See ya.